Now I give the floor to Mr. Sekouri, Minister of Economic Inclusion, Small Businesses, Employment and Skills of Morocco. Mr. In the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like first of all to uh, congratulate Mr. Chair for the election and uh, extend my congratulations and thanks to Mr. DG for the uh, leadership on the, on the International Labour Organization and the choice of this important theme, that is the renewal of social contract uh, in, in, in all our countries. I think that uh, before sharing the Moroccan experience regarding the social contract, because we've been doing a lot uh, since two years, um, there, are, there is a paradigm shift in terms of social contracts and in terms of social state in general, where we need to solve a complex equation, where we have to bridge the gap between the different forms of expression because the quality of representations that we have within the uh, world of uh, unions and representants of governments and representants of uh, corporations does not unfortunately uh, cover the whole spectrum of what a society wants to say uh, on a timely manner. So social dialogue itself needs to be renewed in order to fit strategically to the renewal of the um, uh, social contract. As, Morocco, uh, is, as far as Morocco is concerned, we've been working very hard since 2022 to redesign the um, uh, social dialogue in Morocco. And I can say uh, that we were quite successful uh, 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 doing that. First of all, we institutionalized the social dialogue, but it was not enough because we needed to infuse concrete and short-term uh, results for our population in order for the people to believe in social dialogue. This is how we achieved a couple of weeks ago a historic agreement where we raised the wages for 4.2 million people, be it in the uh, private sector or the public sector, and we completely revamped the revenue uh, tax model in order to uh, help the uh, middle class get more from social dialogue. It costs us $3 billion, which is important for the Moroccan budget, but we assume this choice and we assume as a government uh, this decision. Two, under the leadership of His Majesty King Mohammed VI, we launched a historic program for 12 million people where we provide direct aid for the vulnerable populations, those who do not necessarily have a right and correct revenue. And uh, this program started a couple of months ago and we made it possible because prior to launching the program, the government designed a register, a unified social register, which is an IT based tool that delivers targeted aids for population in order to be efficient. Three, we launched under His Majesty's leadership uh, uh, two years ago a big program to generalize social protection and we moved from one or two million people to 22 million people in 18 months with two regimes, one that is based on contributions and the other one based on solidarity. These three components that we add to the, a compensation policy where the government tries to stabilize prices for the necessary goods and services costs the government nearly $10 billion. So the question for the social contract is not necessarily the mechanisms, the institutional uh, uh, path, but also how do you fund your social contract? This is why, where, where I pledge personally, and we pledge in the government of Morocco, new ways to fund social contract and social state through partnerships because there are strategic projects that need to be funded in parallel to the expenditures for social uh, 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 needs. I'd like to end my word by saying that uh, if we have a, a large delegation representing Morocco with the three unions, uh, representatives, representative unions and the representatives of uh, corporations in addition to government, there is a trust that we 
uh, infused in the social dialogue because it was not just about discussing and sharing information and wishes, but it was also about making hard decisions, budgetary decisions that benefit to the population. And this is how we can make the experiment of a new social contract be a successful one. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for your attention. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.